you cannot define the experiencer through the experience because uh, you cannot define a mirror through what it is reflecting and that is the whole training to realize that i am just reflecting this is not me and in that you qualify then then when the siddhis come you start to see the details the tantra of things because now you are not afraid to look at anything and of course now you will not be interested into any powers either because now you are interested into the whole rainbow so this training suffering is the training in that sense i have known some extreme depressions and panic and you feel you're dying and if you sustain it i realize in a very subtle way it's like uh, sustaining that sexual experience of life as well why people experience each other's darkness after having sex with each other because they touch their roots but the psychologically they're not prepared that this will come also but the true love or tantra is you know what is coming achyutam keshavam राम नारायण कृष्ण दामोदरम इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू शेयर दिस एंड वी टॉक अबाउट दिस ओपनली व्हिच इज द द सफरिंग ऑन द स्पिरिचुअल जर्नी यू नो व्हेन आई वाज इन माय लेट टीन्स एंड अर्ली 20s एंड देन आई स्टार्टेड काइंड ऑफ वेकिंग अप टू सम ऑफ दीस थिंग्स एंड मेडिटेटिंग और हैड सर्टेन मिस्टिकल एक्सपीरियंसेस और व्हाटएवर आई वाज लाइक सफरिंग अ लॉट एंड इट्स I I I often wondered uh, why why is this happening the difficult thing for me was that nothing externally in my life was wrong especially compared to many people who have you know serious problems but inside I'm feeling so shit and I'm suffering all the time through some heaviness or some depression or some burning or some sensation like anxiety or agitation or fear it is always there and sometimes it gets very overwhelming I'm sure many people go through this stuff because we've received also a lot of questions on this kind of thing. And now what you're saying that this is life preparing you to be a vessel or a container for higher things as well. This maybe can help people give some purpose to their suffering which psychologically at least helps them face it. If you know why yeah. that it's not yeah. just why? this endless yeah. suffering for no reason right. Like, you know there is a known case all over the world and it's happening with lsd also that you're not prepared to handle that abundance and insight of life that you can go crazy or many yogis die if they're not prepared to have that vision and understanding or revelation and suffering is the other end galas suffering is the pure darkness and matter and other side is pure bright light which will just burn you up but if you have sustained and if you have in your life like for example i gave one example that somebody asked me that uh, what is spiritual journey is it supposed to have that you know in life i said that matter is a condensed light so in the matter there is a longing to become light again that is our spiritual journey we long to be free and expand again and that expansion we can't take it personally so suffering is breaking your bondage is in that sense they say if you are chosen by god you will go through lots of hells because you will be having the full <laughs> you will be having a full what you say trip of the whole cosmos it's preparing you that what's coming it's not only suffering then you will see then you have capacity to see you know what is my recent problem is each person i am meeting before it was big paranoia and anxiety i say i am going crazy i would meet a person and they are not even aware of it i am becoming aware of the dark, dark sides their bastard their bitch also sitting i thought no no they are planning something but then i realized no once you become capable to see you will see each person variety of different dimensions to them and that makes you capable for relation let's say on the human level so when you want to relate with that you better be ready to take whole scene in one gulp otherwise you vomit out like sadguru said about awakening of your throat chakra that once you see the picture of it if you go like a little bit like <gasps> and you will vomit out blood and die so this is one of the when i heard it i said yeah i have no fear about that because man the whole point is 
I have known some extreme depressions and panic and you feel you're dying. And if you sustain it, I realize in a very subtle way, it's like uh, sustaining that sexual experience of life as well. Why people experience each other's darkness after having sex with each other? Because they touch their roots, but the psychologically they're not prepared that this will come also. But the true love or tantra is, you know what is coming. And when you contain all that into one gesture and one person and see them not as, a, like in spiritualism, they say that a one, one uh, dot can contain the whole cosmos. So you see, it is implying something that that Kartiki aspect that no matter how vast the experiences are, there is only one experiencer. You cannot define the experiencer through the experience because uh, you cannot define a mirror through what it is reflecting. And that is the whole, what you say, training to realize that I am just reflecting. This is not me. And in that, you qualify. Then, then when the cities come, you start to see the details, the tantra of things, because now you're not afraid to look at anything. And of course, now you will not be interested into any powers either, because now you're interested into the whole rainbow. So, this training, suffering is the training in that sense. I'm not saying it in a masochistic way <laughs> because many people like gurus I've seen, they sadistically try this ways on people. Some of my friends did that. I said, this is not the point here that with your will, you make them face their suffering in a relaxed manner. And it does not mean you won't cry. You will cry. You will feel it's finished. But going through that, you, if you go through that consciously, you're creating a blueprint for rest of the humanity. That's why people are needed who go through this chaos and sustaining themselves and maintaining themselves and coming out and you understand many details of it, you leave the information for rest of the humans. Mm. Like 100 monkey. You know, when monkeys in one island started to wash sweet potatoes and eat and within a few months, all our planets, monkeys were washing the sweet potatoes and eating before they were eating it as it is. So that's where we are responsible when we go through any suffering that don't behave like, you know, I don't want this. Let me take some drug or let me get out somewhere and avoid it. You are creating more darkness. But when suffering comes, you stay there and look eye to eye and whatever it is doing to you, tremble and suffer. You are creating... a. Uh, because your presence will create, what you say, will see the pathways. Because no suffering is absolute and no happiness is absolute. And our <laughs> mind tends to think its goal is how to make a happiness absolute. So when it comes to suffering, the opposite mind takes over. It says, okay, this suffering is going to be absolute. So they end up killing themselves. Because it's you're passing through it. And this passing through, you have to remember that you're constantly moving through things. And only mind hold on to certain images and starts to mind fuck about them. Which says, oh, no, no, it had to be perfect. It had to be like this. And that's where you trap them. Because there, that is the misunderstanding or calling it uh, imperfect in your sense. On deeper level, each situation is perfect. It's just that we are not seeing it. Even the mistakes. And you wonder how this is possible. But the whole society, whole everybody is saying that you have to do it right and this and that. But from the, that point of view, look at it. This cosmos is happening with such an organization. On that, our problems are going on. You think it's not part of that will of the cosmos that it should be happening like this. Because it is learning through you. It is inventing itself through your wisdom. It's not separate wisdom which knows perfection. It is learning through you. Vane Baba told me that who knows? Even God does not know what the future is going to be. It shook me. I said, and the point was very beautiful that it is a creator. It is inventing. But we say there is some answer to all this. No, you have to invent an answer. And that's where you become part of the cosmic play. But once you say, tell me answers, you're lost into the soil aspect. But each flower is unique. It's coming out. It found its way. Mm, wow. So that approach of um, welcoming chaos is welcoming Durga. You sing welcome mother in all your forms. And then 
that energy will never damage you like a seed is never damaged of its core wisdom it takes away its shell and seed will be thinking oh what is going to happen to me oh i think i am dying but the design of that shakti is to bring out your best and taking out your worst so this seed aspect like our trust that this is in protection of the mother is in protection of the cosmos no matter what happens it will sprout then again your trust has to be there on that aspect of you not out there something if it is here it is supposed to be here so i am going to follow this so that creates what you say first time a friendship a connection with life because once you st- my sufi teacher once told me once you stand up for yourself whole cosmos stands for you but nobody is standing for themselves they define go oh, it's not this not that i want it to be like that then it will be because books say or yoga say or tantra says it should be like this but we say no this is how it is and this is what is the perfection and perfection here is creativity not that perfection is dead and here you will find more and more perfections infinite perfections shri ram chandra